In this story, we will learn the numbers 1, 2 and 3. Hello, Mr. Froggy. What can I do for you, Barry and Harry? We want to go to the land of numbers. We want to have an adventure. Alright then, repeat this after me. In the blink of an eye, Barry and Harry disappeared and soon found themselves in a very peculiar place. They walked on and soon found a big strange tree. What's the matter, Harry? The fruits are stuck to the tree. They can't come off. <sighs> Why are the both of you so noisy? Doing silly things again, I suppose. Oh, hello, Felicia. Hi, Felicia. We want to eat the fruits from this tree, but the fruits are stuck fast to the tree. Those are numbers, silly. Here, let me show you. Come on, sing together with me. This is very strange. Is this called a number? Yes, this is the number one. We can also write it this way. One. Felicia, what about the other strange things on the tree? They don't look like one. I'll show that to you. Sing with me, Barry and Harry. This is number two, or we can also write it this way, two. This is interesting. What else is there up on the tree? Do you really want to know? Listen to me then. Come on, sing with me. So, this is number three. You are right. The other way to write it is like this. Three. What are we supposed to do with these numbers? We can't possibly eat them, can we? No, Harry. These are not bird food. 
Come on, I'll take you to a place where you'll get lots of food. So, as you can guess, Felicia brought them to a fruit orchard where there were plenty of fruits for them to eat. Look up the tree. How many nests do you see? I can only see one nest. You are right. Harry, can you fly up and see how many eggs there are in the nest? There's one egg in the nest. There's one hornbill up on the tree too. <laughs> Look around you. Do you see anything in twos? Well, I can see two legs. Barry's legs. Hmm. Yeah, I see two eyes too. Your eyes. Hey, stop quarreling. How about two friends? The two of you are good friends, right? Of, of course, course we are. are. <laughs> anyway, can you find anything in threes? I see three horses coming towards us. <coughs> there are three ducks over there. You are right. Let me see. I can see three birds flying in the sky. Wow! That's such a lot of fun. Oh, I'm sleepy, Barry. Shall we go now? So they said their goodbyes, and Barry and Harry went on their way. Enrichment It's so nice to be able to meet our old friend Felicia again. Felicia sure taught us a lot of things, didn't she? I wonder if our dear friends who are watching us remember what we learned. I sure hope they do. Well, I remember. We learned the number one, and the other way to write it is like this. One. We saw one nest, there was one egg in the nest, and... One hornbill up in the tree. And that was you, Harry. <laughs> we also learned two, and we can also write it as two. I have two legs. And I have two eyes. And... We are two good friends! Then we learned the number three, which can also be written as tree. I saw three ducks in the pond. Felicia saw three birds in the air. What did you see, Harry? I saw three horses running towards us. Well, dear friends, I hope you can remember the things we have learned. Enjoy counting one, two, and three. Try finding things that are in ones, twos, and threes around you, and you'll be surprised at what you can find. <laughs>